Welcome to the official press conference following the men 15 kilometers must start of Ottepe. With us the winner, Vetle Shostad Christiansen. Vetle, absolutely the perfect performance. 20 shots, 20 hits, first place. Could it, could it have been any better? Ah, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, actually, I, I don't think so. <laughs> it was the it was the perfect setup for me today. Uh, I mean, with the with the weather, with the conditions. Uh, despite the the warm weather, it was uh, pretty pretty good conditions for me. It was not as soft as we maybe thought it would be. And and with this uh, shooting in front of the Estonian crowd, um, who who I thought were Norwegian at some point there. Uh, it was great to, to hear them cheering for me for for every hit at the last uh, shooting. Uh, that's something you, you dream of as a child. It's it's not only about results, but also about feelings. And and this was uh, one of these uh, great feelings. So uh, yeah, it, it was the perfect day. Speaking of feelings, uh, how can you describe the last loop because I think you got quite some support, but also someone chasing you quite closely. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, if you won't want to chase you on the last loop, it's not Guanta Fiumaya. Uh, he's the, the best biathlete in, in the world right now. And I knew, I knew he could catch the, the, these seven or eight seconds I had uh, at him uh, after the, the fourth shooting. I knew he could catch it on the, on the last loop. So. I tried to, to ski pretty fast, but to don't uh, kill myself immediately because I knew if I, if I had some power left uh, in the legs at the top, uh, I could be pretty good in this uh, fast going sprint because it's almost 500 meters completely flat and you know I'm a, I'm a big guy and, and I, I think I know how to sprint so I had some confidence left there and and I thought save a little bit, but when he still was two or three seconds uh, behind at the at the last uh, split time, I, I just went for it, and it was a great feeling to to look behind and, and see he was uh, still two or three seconds behind when we entered the the last hundred meters. So ah, even if I I think I can sprint, I'm glad I didn't have to today. <laughs> No, you said it felt almost like having Norwegian crowd, but next week we will have the Norwegian crowd. What are you expecting from yourself in the final yeah, weekend? Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's been some years now without uh, racing in, uh, in Holmenkollen, our government. They have been pretty strict with these uh, COVID uh, regulations, of course, and, uh, and now we are back to, to hopefully uh, a full house in, uh, in Holmenkollen. So yeah, I hope it will be a lot of people there are cheering for us uh, the last time this season and, and hopefully they they are a little bit eager to, to get out and watch some sports. I, I think they they have been sitting uh, a lot at home in the, in the sofa the last couple of years so I guess they are hungry to, to watch some biathlon live and I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Congratulations again for today. Thank you. Thank you. With us in second place, Cantan Fiumaye of France. Kantan, congratulations uh, for another podium, but this one even more special, I would say, because it secures your first overall globe. Can you tell us what's the feeling like to be the overall winner? Uh, it uh, looked like uh, secure yesterday because uh, someone told me uh, you must just finish the Mossad or finish on the, on the, the first uh, 20. As in, uh, my goal is not only to to finish on the first 20, it's uh, to, to win, for sure. Then uh, I'm uh, confident about uh, the overall, but uh, I want to fight uh, hard for the overall of the Mustard and uh, fight with uh, a lot of athletes because there is only two race until the World Cup season. Then, um, yeah, I'm again happy to fight uh, for the win today and uh, Congrat to congrat to the to Norwegian uh, on the today. It was a very very hard fight on the ski. Uh, yeah, it's uh, again the, a very hard fight and the last shooting. Uh, you never know what happened on the on, on this race. It was so close each time. Uh, so much good uh, shooting and uh, that uh, race. Uh, what I like. Can you tell us a little bit your tactics for the race? Because at the beginning maybe you were not 
looking for the for the top with Emilian going. Then on the fourth loop, you really pushed hard with Alpha to close. How did you uh, manage your energy as well? Uh, I, I have very good ski on the first part of the loop, but after I have the, the soft, uh, soft snow on the last part, I uh, lose some time, but uh, I have a lot of energy on the skis. I'm, uh, my strategy on the push hard every time, and I lost some people uh, are too uh, not so strong for our KP uh, this, uh, this speed. And finally, we lost uh, some athletes like this. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I tried to shoot fast on the last, uh, on, the, uh, on the two standing shooting. And uh, yeah, there is a, a little bit some emotion. I shoot a little bit too faster and uh, one miss. Uh, uh, with uh, this miss, I lost the, um, lost the win. A little bit disappointed, but uh, yeah, finally, it's uh, again a good race. <laughs> Second place that uh, was very good and uh, yeah, and uh, Vettel was very strong today and uh, congrats to him. Well, thanks and congratulations for the overall in the second Thank place. Thank you. And uh, in uh, third place, also representing Norway, Sivert Guttornbakken. Sivert, for you, is the first World Cup podium individually. At first, how does that feel to sit here? Yeah, it feels, feels great. Uh, I have been just focusing on doing great races uh, earlier this season and of course since uh, me and uh, Philip got into the World Cup at the same time and, and he got the two podiums of course I wanted one as well and uh, I knew that with a good race I, I was capable of doing it but, uh, but I know if I'm just attacking and, and making mistakes all the time that's, that's not the way to do it so, so I just had to, to keep calm and shoot good and then just stay focused on the track, try to, uh, try to ski even all the way and don't use all that energy. And uh, in the end, I had, uh, had uh, quite some energy left on the last loop, uh, having a duel with uh, Antona. And then I, I saw Quanta, but it was, it was too far. But then, of course, I was really satisfied with the third place. You've been close to the to the podium already last week. Uh, when that didn't come, was it like disappointment or was it like, okay, I'm getting there? Uh, well, actually, uh, in Contelarte last week, when I, uh, when I got the fourth place, I was really happy about that. It was a good race and I knew, of course, I had one mistake and it was possible to do, uh, to do better. But I was satisfied uh, with it. But after some days thinking about it, getting here, I was just starting to think more and more, ah, I should have hit one more and got that podium. So, so finally I got it now. And also for you next week, we go to Oslo, to Olmenkollen. What are you maybe expecting from yourself and from the crowd? Uh, I, I think uh, still I just have to, to stay modest and, and not uh, have too high expectations. Just focus on, on doing uh, one race uh, after one other and, and uh, try to keep the keep the level high and we will see uh, see what comes out of that and uh, of course even if it's Norway it's uh, I don't think I've raced in Holmenkollen in like 10 years so it's it's gonna be cool to race there as well well congratulations and uh, have fun for the rest of the season thank you thank you